A story in the headlines all week. Street takeovers blocking off Cleveland streets and intersections. Many of the citizens of this city are, are pissed. Many people in this city started calling me. Now there's a task force investigating last weekend's mayhem, but the chaos has not stopped. Just last night, drag racers on the city's west side. People are scared to come into the city. Residents are scared, they are frustrated, and city leaders say this cannot continue. Well, you saw it, more late night street chaos, this time drag racing, but those behind the wheel are now on the radar of a new Cleveland task force looking at street takeovers. News 5 investigator Tara Morgan's been on top of these car meets and these takeovers now uh, for months. And Tara, you spoke with Chief Todd. How is this different from what we've seen, you know, just this past weekend? Right, well, Chief Annie Todd says this was drag racing, illegal, but more of a traffic issue. But they'll do some comparisons to see if there's any connection to last weekend's takeovers that paralyzed the city and could potentially be prosecuted as an aggravated riot. Cleveland police shut down drag racers late Wednesday night on West 139th and Enterprise Avenue. Officers ticketed four and towed one car. Um, this is something that the first district has uh, continuously been going out and enforcing. In the daylight, you can see tire marks on the straight line stretch of roadway. This is an industrial area that Chief Annie Todd says is where you'll find drag racing. People who work on West 139th say it's been going on for a year. One shared this video from May 2023. A car drifting with someone hanging out the passenger window similar to what took place citywide just days ago with people on the street recording their antics. Find out about their, they'd go out there, they'd break it up, they'd write them tickets and uh, move on. It wasn't like an aggressive crowd. But that wasn't the case last weekend. There are people with guns on the highway. I hope you understand that. Newly released 911 calls illustrate the danger and the fear as crews of cars took over the streets for five hours last Sunday. So we're right in the middle of the interstate. They're swarming us with guns. They're swarming you with guns? Yes. Police noted 16 locations. Officers were hit with airsoft BBs. In one case, an ambulance was forced to wait to get through an intersection. The last spot being I-90, where a masked mob attacked a party bus. Happen over the weekend was very different. You know that is complete, you know, lawlessness, and that activity is, you know, absolutely criminal in nature. It's way beyond traffic offenses. Chief Todd says while they don't believe the drag racing is connected to the same groups that do the takeovers, it hasn't been ruled out. We've given the information to our task force to compare, you know, compare the people involved as well as the vehicles that are involved to see if they are connected. And moving forward, the chief tells me they are planning special police details for street takeovers. And we just learned police arrested an 18-year-old Akron man for the September 15th takeover at West 25th in Lorraine. That's where the intersection was set on fire. He's charged with aggravated arson. They're still looking for a 20-year-old from Barberton. We'll never get used to that video. Right. It's jarring. Tara, thank you.